before we start, I just want to ask you, why are you watching this? Like, why? I, I, I genuinely want commas on this. Why does my opinion matter to others? Like, why does what I think about these items matter at all to you? Now, on with the video. Okay, this one isn't bad except for the numerous problems that they had with the hands not moving. Horrible. Horrible. I don't know who designs this. I don't know what team this goes through that where people say, yeah, this is good, release that. This thing in person is actually much bigger than it looks. It's not very impressive though. It just goes round and round and says dumb shit. It's nothing. In addition, it's very lazy. Because if you notice, most of these props this year have like one or one movement, maybe two, if you're lucky. That's actually insane to me. This one's not bad. This one's actually not bad. It's 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 fine. It's another clown, but really, it, it's not bad at all. I guess this is supposed to be a zombie clown because it has no legs, so I guess it's supposed to be coming out of the ground. There might be a reason that he like lost his legs in some freak show accident. I don't care. I really don't care. That's what it looks like to me. I'm not reading up on the lore. I just don't I just don't want to do that. But um it's really not bad at all. It's really not. It's I like the spring-loaded mouth. I think that's cool. I like it. How is he alive? How is he alive with the spike in his head? The brain's not working. I know, like, oh, it's a zombie, but, like, that is against zombie rules. That is against zombie rules. You do something to their head, do something to their brain. Not around anymore. It's against zombie rules, and it's annoying me. Don't like it. Not consistent with zombie rules. This thing would benefit so much from head movement, from, like, head turning. I know that would exceed the quota of no more than two movements, but, um, it really, it really would benefit from one. But besides that, this thing is actually way bigger than it looks. Like, in person, this thing's really big, and I actually like it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I like it. This thing... The, is it that fucking hard to program mouth movement, to do mouth movement? It can't be that hard, okay? It can't be that hard. This thing has almost no redeeming qualities to it. The face is cool. That's about it. That's everything. That's all it has going for it, okay? I love that the head is made of latex. And it's going to be constantly around this fog that's going to make it deteriorate faster. That's one of my favorite things Spirit has ever done. I'm clapping right now as I speak because I love it so much. Anyway, you can probably gather, I don't really like this one. I'm not even going to speak on this. I'm going to speak on it. I lied. How did... How, this uh, It's horrible. It's just horrible. They blew all the money on this on the cosmetics and the licensing. It's nice that it has audio from the movie. It's nice that it looks really good, it looks better than the Morbid one. However, it's not nice that it has one animation. I like the projection, the projection is cool, but it doesn't do anything. You lose the head turn, and it's static. I mean, come on. A licensed exorcist prop with one animation. That is actually really sad. That's horrible. But it's real. the prop in general, it's not bad, but if I had it, I'd use it as a static because the activation is is just so underwhelming. This thing is worth like $40 max. Spirit has it in the triple digits, but that's no surprise because they always overprice the heck out of everything. Um, it's not bad. On its own, it's not bad. It's really not bad. It's bad for whatever 130 they want for it, but on its own, it's really not bad. It's just a spider. It's like some yard crap you'd throw somewhere. It's filler. It's whatever it's what it is it's not meant to be anything special and it definitely is not anything special i adore this thing i really like this thing this thing's the best of the year this probably this is probably the best spirit prop we've had in years it's so lazy it's just a very small crouchy sure it's cute it's cute in the way that the minions are cute they're just using crouchy as a character it's it's just a lazy cash grab now we're going to be going on to Home Depot. Don't mind the picture. I had nothing to put here. I just wanted to announce that we're going to be going to Home Depot now. This thing is really cool. It makes me nervous because of how big it is that it'll fall over, but it's really cool. You know, I see what they were going for, but witches don't fly like that. They don't. They, they, they're on the broom. They don't hang off the broom like that. They're on the broom, but I see what they were going for. It's a nice try. I'm not even going to lie here. I, I've never seen this thing before in my life. I just saw it when I was looking up the lineup for this video. I don't know anything about it. It looks kind of cool, I guess. 
Now, I was really stoked to see this one in person. Oh my god, it's it's not very good. It's not. I wish it was, but it's not. This thing, I really like it. I really like this thing. It's pretty darn cool. You know, I can see the appeal of this one, and I don't really like it, but I it's not bad. I think it's just not for me. It's ugly, but I think it's supposed to be. It's just not for me. This thing, really, I don't hate it. I hate that I don't hate it. I feel like I should hate it, but I don't hate it. It's not bad. This thing is one of the best life sizes we have had in the past few years. Hear me out, okay? It's got character. It's got it's got animation. It has enough animation. It has two animations, but those two are enough. It doesn't need any more. It's got cool lights. It's got cool phrases. That character, though, is very important. It has that appeal. It's... It's got a style. I love it. In every way. This one's cool. I like this one. Don't mind the backing music ending. It's gonna come back in a second. But, um, yeah. I just wish that the phrase before that he does the jump scare was a little shorter. Because nobody's gonna stand around waiting for it to happen. But I like it. <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyway, uh, I think this thing needs head movement. But besides that, it's fine. Um, let's not talk about the deformities. This thing is great. I went to Home Depot specifically after season to buy it. They didn't have any left. Anyway, I love this thing. I, uh... I'm a little uncomfortable. This looks like an action figure. It is not very good at all. That's the end of the video. I have no more to say. I don't know why you sat through it all. My opinion means nothing.